Let's move to our second special condition, which is P mitrale. So what is P mitrale? P mitrale is a bifid or biphasic P wave due to left atrial enlargement. In the example of the ECG strip, you can see a bifid P wave. And left atrial enlargement is basically due to a high pressure or volume overload of the left atrium. What are the causes of left atrial hypertrophy or left atrial enlargement? In isolation, it is classically seen in a patient with mitral stenosis. However, it can also occur in association with left ventricular hypertrophy or left ventricular enlargement. So what are the examples of causes? This include systemic hypertension, aortic stenosis, mitral incompetence, and lastly, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So this is the example of P wave changes with left atrial enlargement. You can see in the diagram, the one highlighted in the red box, this is the example of the bifid P wave in lead 2 as well as the biphasic P wave in V1. So what are the ECG criteria to say that this ECG is a P mitrale ECG? As we know, left atrial enlargement produces a broad and bifid P wave in lead 2 and you call it as a P mitrale and enlarges the terminal negative portion of the P wave in lead V1. So the criteria to say whether this is a P mitrale or not, you can see from lead 2, where you can see a bifid P wave with more than 40 milliseconds between the two peaks. And the total of the P wave duration is more than 110 milliseconds. How about in lead V1? In lead V1, if you have a biphasic P wave, with a terminal negative portion of more than 40 millisecond duration, then it is suggestive of P mitrale as well. Other than that, a biphasic P wave in V1 with a negative terminal negative portion of more than one millimeter deep is also a P mitrale by definition. So this is just an example from a lead ECG strip. You can see this is a P mitrale, which is brought by fit P, more than 100 milliseconds in lead 2, and we call it as a P mitrale, with the interval between the two peaks is more than 40 milliseconds. This is another example of P mitrale in lead V1, where you have a biphasic P wave, and the P wave terminal portion is more than 40 millisecond duration. So that concludes our second special condition, which is P mitrale.